San Diego Chargers, first round selection. Wide receiver, John Jefferson, Arizona State. Number 83, John Jefferson. The wide receiver from Arizona State was 78th number one draft pick and was blessed with a kind of body control and agility that no coach could teach. A Coriel, pro football's best way to fly. San Diego lived by the pass and their opponents knew it. So they tried to stop the Chargers' aerial game by any means possible. The NFL offered another challenge. Heavy traffic over the middle. So J.J. strapped on his goggles and proved that he could hold his own in the danger zone. John Jefferson caught 56 passes and tied the all-time NFL record for touchdown catches by a rookie with 13. Back Dan Fouts and wide receiver John Jefferson teamed up for San Diego's initial touchdown. One-handed high-flying flair has become commonplace and effective for number 83. John Jefferson. Few athletes in San Diego history have been more admired by the fans or acclaimed by his peers. Jefferson became the first man ever to gain a thousand yards receiving in each of his first three seasons. He led the league in touchdown receptions and receiving yards. He was named All-Pro and he made catches that must be considered state-of-the-art. Jefferson not only made colorful catches, he made catches that counted. None was more memorable than the overtime game winner against the Oakland Raiders. He sends Jefferson and Joyner left. He's going for Jefferson. He's got it for the one yard line. Touchdown. He wasn't touched. Lester Hayes didn't touch him. Jefferson rolls in for the victory. Charger power generates the most voltage in the passing game. For Coriel, any time is the right time to put the ball in flight. In San Diego, that means strap on the goggles, unleash pro football's most exciting offensive weapon, John Jefferson.
John Jefferson caught another impossible game winner. Catches a pass. The spectator knows he's witnessing a very special moment.
for the bomb to Griffith, and he's there, he's got it. Finally, the San Diego Chargers' vision of a Super Bowl came plummeting to earth. Their future was all used up. They could only watch those glowing hopes dwindle away as now the darkness closes over San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium. 1980, Jefferson and owner Gene Klein became embroiled in a feud over money. Jefferson faced the toughest decision of his life. The Chargers were hit with turmoil over the trade of John Jefferson. John Jefferson returned to pro football as a Green Bay Packer. The arrival of superstar receiver John Jefferson. The man they called J.J. brought with him a sense of freshness and originality, as well as a unique enthusiasm. Got a lot of time. He saw it down the sidelines, defending it for J.J. He adjusted and caught it. Hunter. Touchdown! Oh, what a play! You know, I got the feeling that J.J. said throw it to me, and they did. I'll tell you one thing, there's not many people in the world can jump as high as J.J. He outjumped it. The defender took it away from touchdown. Green Bay, they tied it up with only about 20. In 1981, John Jefferson became a new member of the Green Bay community, and he arrived with sincere intentions of leading the team to new success. John Jefferson, a receiver who has brought a sunny disposition and sure hands to Wisconsin Dairy Country.
Dickey would strike. He hit the flash. John Jefferson, number 83. Jefferson paired with James Lofton. years that followed, Jefferson never quite looked the same. In 1985, he moved on to Cleveland, but still dreamed of his days in Jack Murphy Stadium. During the end of his career, he longed to be back in an offense that utilized his talent. Jefferson chose Houston as his new home. At age 30, Jefferson was eager to show he hadn't lost the magic. J.J. saw the writing on the wall. If I had to do it again, you know, sitting back thinking about it, I probably would have stayed in San Diego, simply because that was the offense for me. 